Hello and welcome back to Mark's Garden UK. I'm going to share with you in this video something which I think is remarkable. Now we're all very concerned about our bees and pollinators at the moment and rightly so because I think we've all cottoned on to the fact that if it weren't for our bees and our pollinating insects we'd probably struggle as a race, as a species, to provide the food that we need. The bees and the pollinators are a, a very important part of our food security. And I know that there are some orchards uh, that produce fruit on a, on a grand scale that import dozens and dozens of beehives just to help with the pollination process. That's how important bees are. So we're all very busy in our gardens at the moment, creating wildlife corners and wildflower meadows. And I've done exactly the same this year. I've created two wildflower meadows and a wildlife pond and a log pile and a hibernaculum. And I leave a large part of my garden untidy just for the wildlife and nature to help with the biodiversity and the ecosystem. But what happens at the end of the year when my lavender border starts to die away and my wildlife meadows start to die back? Where do the pollinators go then? Because it's at that time of year when they really do need to be stocking up on their reserves because many of them have to hibernate through the winter. Well, there is one plant that really comes into its own at this time of the year. And in case you haven't guessed it, it's all around me, behind me and to my left. And you may not be able to hear it, but there's an audible hum from that plant. And I'm talking about the English ivy or Hedera helix, and I'll put the name in the description box below. Yes, there's an audible hum from that plant as I approach it because it's covered in hundreds, if not thousands, of insects. And I can see bees, wasps, hornets, flies, butterflies. It's absolutely swarming. And if you, if you didn't know it was because they were here for the nectar and the pollen, you'd probably think there was a, a wasp nest in that bush, but there isn't. And it's not a very showy plant. It's not blousy and full of blossom. It's very modest and you might walk past it were it not for the noise it's making uh, because of the insect coverage. And the flowers are a very kind of subtle lime green with a hint of yellow. They give off a subtle scent and that's a magnet to all these insects and they're feasting on the pollen and the nectar. It's absolutely covered. And it's a great shrub, a great plant for other uh, reasons as well. This because it's evergreen, so it provides cover for birds all year round. And many of these little blooms and blossoms will eventually turn into berries. And those berries are rich in fats, which many of our native birds will eat. And again, that will build up their reserves for the winter period. So there we go, an amazing plant. You can make a hedge with it as I have here, this is a hedge between myself and my neighbor. It's not particularly invasive. You can very easily prune it back into shape. But to me, the remarkable thing and the massive benefit, and I'll be showing you some close-ups of the insects I'm looking at now, of this plant is the benefit it's doing to the pollinating insects. It's incredible. And I hope you can hear it, because I can. And it's almost intimidating, in fact, the noise that it's making, but I don't feel under threat because I know that most of these insects are just completely intent on gorging themselves on what these flowers are producing. Absolutely amazing. I mean, happily, I've also got a hawthorn in this hedge here, which is another one of our native species, and that's got berries on it. So again, another little corner of the garden, a very modest corner. In the piggery here, this is the old pig pen. In fact, you can probably see down there the hole where they used to put the slot through and the pig used to live in this area here back in the day. Another modest corner of the garden here, which is doing a massive amount for the pollinating insects. And the pollinating insects are a massive part of the whole ecosystem. Hedrohelix, the English ivy, I'll put the name in the description box below this video. Low maintenance, a massive benefit. So I hope you've enjoyed that and I'll see you soon for some more ivy pollinator adventures. Bye for now.